everyone, welcome Kim to the Mari Show. Now, backstage is Kim's husband of six years, Damien. Now, last year, Kim and Damien were devastated when Kim was forced to terminate a complicated pregnancy. And the loss of her child sent Kim into an emotional tailspin, so much so that she admits that she soothed herself by having an affair with another man named Frank. Okay, and soon after that, Kim finds out she's pregnant with her son, Giovanni. So now Kim is desperate to find out if Damien, her husband, or Frank, the ex-lover, is the father of her child. After I lost my baby, I was at the lowest point of my life. My husband, Damien, wasn't there for me when I needed him. I admit I made a mistake when I had an affair with Frank. He was there for me when Damien wasn't. When I found out I was pregnant, I was happy and scared. I always believed Frank is the father. But I was with Damien too. That's why I need this DNA test. Frank hasn't done anything for Giovanni. He's never even met him. I want Damien to be Giovanni's father. Damien's the one that's been there. But if Frank has proven to be the father, he needs to step up. So, the last year, I mean, it has been awful for you. Yes, you got pregnant, lost a child. Yes. To a bad pregnancy, an yes. ectopic pregnancy. Yes. You used to weigh like 320 pounds. Yep, I was 320 pounds back in December 2016. I had the vaccine sleep, and then I lost all the weight, and I got down to 165. Right, okay. So, then you found out about the first pregnancy, and then, uh, that kind of hit you it and It hit da me hard. And, and hit, Damien yes, hard. Yes, it hit Damien hard, too. So I felt like Damien wasn't there, so I found comfort from Frank, and then I went to be with him because Damien wasn't showing me the support that I really, needed. Really, that's why and then, he was having an affair with yeah, That kind of ran its course, and you went back to Damien. Yes, I did, because Frank wasn't there, and he didn't want to do nothing. He thought I was joking when I told him I was pregnant uh -huh. in January, so mm. therefore I went back to and be yet, with Damien. And yet Damien had been there all through your pregnancy. Yes, he has. He was at the doctor's. He was at the office town. He was there for everything. OK, I want to get the timeline right, though. So you find out you're pregnant. Yes. Who do you tell first? I told Frank first. Uh -oh. When I told Frank at the end of January that I was pregnant, he laughed about it. Right. Oh. No, yes. really? That's why she's lying. And then. And then you told Damien, really, right? And I told Damien. And did you I tell Damien that Frank could Frank, be the father? Yes, he could be the father. So everybody 50 -50. was up front during your pregnancy about yes. the possibility. Yes. How did how, how did Damien find out about you and Frank? Damien found he didn't find out about us at first. I kept it from him, and then. He finally found out when he found out me and him were messaging, and I told him we were just friends. That's what we were doing, uh, being just friends, and yeah. then it took it to the next level. Yeah. Did you have any communication with Frank during No, the I cut off Frank altogether back in April of 2016. <laughs> to work on my marriage and everything. I cut him off. I pushed him out the picture and everything. Okay. So, if I have a picture of uh, little Giovanni, and I have a picture of Frank, and a picture of Damien, yes. right? Who's the father? I see Damien in him, the eyes, and the nose, and his mouth, and then his ears. You can't really tell, but his ears, he looks like he has French ears. But I see more of Damien and Giovanni than I do Frank. By the way, have Damien and Frank ever met each other? No, they never met each other. They've they never talked met on each Facebook, other. but they never met each other face to face. Has Frank, has Frank ever met Giovanni? No. No? No. He's seen pictures of them and everything. We're going to have the results of those DNA tests. In the yeah! I'm ready for him, Mario. I'm ready for him. But first, here's Frank, everybody. Frank, come on out. Nice to see you, Frank. Good to see you. Have a seat. Have you ever met that little boy? Four different times. Four in times? You're a liar. You never met really? him. Really, Whatever. you didn't meet me at three no. different gas stations no, and then some place in Baltimore. You're a liar. Really? Really? So that's why you keep the car seat okay, on the back whatever. passenger you're side. You're a liar. It's got two you stains on the car seat. Whatever. It ain't got no damn stains. It stain. does too. Whatever. Really? You haven't met him, so two keep weeks ago in Baltimore, right okay, there whatever. in Elkridge. He's got a new Really? You think you met him? Oh, really? So that's why I don't you have text messages from you on my phone talking about how. You know I'm the father. Yeah, you want to be with me. I you want to leave him. 
I and that you didn't you lie to me, to tell me that you'd so already what? left your husband, I was and you were staying you. in a okay, different yeah. room. I meant, you know really? I was with him. And hold on a minute. Who was the first one that went to the doctor's you, appointment with you? No. You Who knew was I was the one that married. wanted to go to every doctor's oh, appointment with you? You knew I was still married. Oh, no, no, and no. And I told you, you I wasn't leaving him. You told me flat out, you were leaving your husband, y'all were done and over. So, put all this on me, don't even try that. So, Frank, in other words, the woman I've been talking to for the last 10 minutes isn't the woman you know. No, <laughs> she's straight up lying so okay, bad that her hair's turning you're black. You're a liar! You're a liar! You live still with your mama, you lied about everything! You wanna make a bet? Do you wanna make a bet? Who's the one that was paying for everything? You Who's the one that nothing. even told you I would I pay I for a DNA you. test at home? If with you wanted no to wing. do the test, you would have done the test. I would have had to be here. All right, so why are you lying about me leaving the baby full time? Frank. You think that little boy looks like you? Well, no. I hope he ain't yours. No. Okay. My personal opinion, no baby looks like either one of their parents till they're three or four months old. That's my personal opinion. No. So before we meet Damien, this is what he had to say about it. I thought Kim was the only woman in the world I could trust. Boy, does he prove me wrong. When we lost our child, I was in pain too. I tried to be there for Kim, but all she did was push me away. I thought Kim was just friends with Frank. Turns out she was sleeping with him behind my back. What kind of man sleeps with another man's wife? Since Kim found out she was pregnant with Giovanni, I was there with her every single day. Where the hell has Frank been? I always wanted to be a father. I don't know what I would do if Giovanni's not mine. Everybody, please welcome Damien. Here he is. Yeah. Damien, nice to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. Have a seat. Have a seat. Damien, you know this guy? He's more of a boy. Oh. A boy? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. I don't sit down and play PS4 and make a mess of the whole house. Oh. <laughs> I don't watch Pokemon as your wife likes to put in text messages for five or six hours a day. No, he's I also a liar. don't live with my mama. I don't live with my mother either. You're a 40-year-old child. Why are we here? For that baby. baby. Thank you. For that baby. So, she kept it a secret about her and Frank. Yeah, the whole time, until I finally found out by him, actually. Well, how'd you feel when you found out? I was devastated. Like, I was so enraged. Yeah, but you were there for that baby when, when she was pregnant. That baby has nothing to do with she did. That baby is innocent in this Have whole situation. Have you forgiven her? It's, it's been rocky, but I've been trying to, like, forgive her and trying to move on and move forward. You think you look like Giovanni? Yes. Honestly, do. She, I mean, she structures, nose, his mouth. What happens if you're not the father? I honestly have no idea what, what's going to happen. I know I'm going to be devastated. I know I'm going to need some time by, by myself. Um, I'm not sure what exactly is going to happen. You want to be the father. I do. Oh, no. Boy. Boy, look. He's got the same cut right in the corner of the eyes. I ain't got no short stubble chin. In the case of six-week-old Giovanni, Damien, you are not. <laughs> In the case of six-week-old Giovanni, Frank, you are the father. Now, how bad do you feel for cutting me out when I was the one that was there originally? Frank, just be responsible for that little boy. Maury, okay? I told her when she first told me she was pregnant, I was happy as can be. And you know how people laugh when they're happy. Right. She tried telling me, she goes, you're being a to me. Right. I was laughing because I was happy. I even said, really, Take really? Take care of that little boy. That's all I ask. I got text messages just from three days ago. Just, I don't know if you want to continue to be the male figure in that little boy's life, but you've done a great job of it. Okay. All right? I'm sorry. You're still his dad. You've been there. I don't care. We'll get through. Thanks for watching this dramatic DNA reveal. If you want to see more paternity stories, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about all new DNA drama.